I have the pleasure of being with Dr. Rashidian from Mid-Atlantic Chiropractic Centers. Um, I have worked with you over the years or been in touch with you over right. the years. Um, and you guys just continue, seems to be growing. Absolutely. And busier. Yeah. I don't know what that says about our population and what's happening, but um, tell me a little bit about how you guys got started okay. and uh, kind of where we are today. Yeah, so uh, we started in 2006. Yeah. And basically it was just Brandy and I, my wife. Yeah. And we came to Frederick, we liked Frederick. We went door to door. So it was actually election season that year. So a lot of, <laughs> and you know, this is before COVID, right? <laughs> right? So a lot of politicians were going door to door, <laughs> knocking on doors. So we're like, why don't we do what they're doing? Uh -huh. We had no marketing budget. Yeah. Uh, we had no uh, skills in advertising and promoting. And I so we it. said, we need to meet people. Yeah. So we drew a, a one mile radius around where the office was gonna be. And we went to every house, every home, every apartment, knocked on doors, said hello, introduced ourselves, said, how long have you been living here? Do you know where your nearest chiropractor <laughs> is? Can I send you some information when we open our office? Yeah. Most people were really nice. Frederick is That's, amazing. It is. But it, it was one of those tight-knit communities where yeah. it's hard to get into because yeah. you're considered an outsider. Ah. And so, and we also met 200 business owners wow. in that same one mile radius. Wow. Restaurant owners, shops, you know, retail stores, uh, uh, attorneys, accountants. And was the first office here at Crestwood? No, it was out, it was downtown. Oh, it, it was, was downtown. right on the corner of Market and Second. It was a former um, Farmers and Mechanics Bank okay. building. Okay. Yeah, we had a big, yeah. big bank vault in there. Okay. Um, Dan Hardy was the owner of the building at ah. the time. He sold the building recently, but um, yeah. So, so was, how long were you at that location? Six years. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Six years, and then we outgrew that. Yeah. Moved to the Crestwood location, and then in 2000, uh, 2020, we opened our second office up north uh, near One Life Fitness. Yes. Okay. So started with just you and your wife. She yeah. also is a chiropractor? She's not. Okay. She's not. She's, she managed, she was your she managed yes. the administrative okay, right, side right. of things, and yeah. uh, I did the patients. Yeah, and, so she... You know, a few months later, we hired our first um, uh, receptionist ah, to answer nice. phones. She was probably then, happy about that. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then a few months after that, we hired our first chiropractor. Nice. And uh, he was with us for a good five years, and uh, then he had to move to uh, New Jersey. But yeah, we've been just been growing ever since. Okay. Chiro chiropractic services. So... What are you seeing right now that your concerns you, I guess, about the future of people's bodies? You, you know, um, I'm going to use an analogy with uh, economy. You know, there's uh, classes, mm. lower class, middle class, upper class. Mm -hmm. Well, those same classes apply to healthcare. Mm -hmm. There's there's the uh, sick, the mediocre and then the ultra healthy. Mm -hmm. And just like in a bad economy, the middle class shrinks mm -hmm. and you get a lot of extremes, really rich, really poor. In healthcare today, that middle, the mediocre healthy people, that's shrinking. Okay. You, have, you have a lot of sick people mm. and a lot of extremely healthy people and very little in between. Mm. And the reason is there isn't enough education on that. Mm. So you've got the people who have the funds, who can go to chiropractors, who can buy the higher end vitamins, who do the longevity treatments and so on, mm -hmm. and then you've got the people who are in the system. Mm. They have to go where their insurance allows them to go. They have to do only what insurance covers, right. and they're the ones that are kind of suffering. Yeah. We are seeing people having heart attacks in their 30s. We're yeah. seeing people having cardiac arrest in their 20s. Yeah. It's, it's awful. We're seeing type two diabetes in teenagers. Yeah. Teenagers, if they have diabetes, it should be type, type one, one, not right, type right. type two. It used to be you had to be extremely old, old, old and you yeah. had to be extremely Over, obese. Yeah. That's not the case anymore. Oh my gosh. So the environment isn't as clean as it should be. Mm. Our habits aren't as good as it should be. Our food isn't as good as it should be. And so we need information to get healthier. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's a big apple to bite off, right? Like that's it is. It is a lot. Do you see, because my kids do this all the time, uh, the tech neck. Mm -hmm. Are you guys seeing a lot of the tech neck and, and all of that too? Oh, yeah. How big, do you, big time. I how mean, do you get your kids to stop doing this? How? What do we got to do? You withhold food. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have three boys. Yeah. We have three full-size refrigerators in our oh, house. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. How do we stop that? 
uh, hold your phone up higher. Yeah. Um, uh, take a lot of breaks. It, you know, it's just as bad as sit in front of a computer. Yes. You know, yeah. um, uh, we talk about the 90, 90, 90 rule, 390 degrees. Your knees, your hips, your elbows should be at 90 degrees okay. when you're on a computer. Okay. And your monitor should be up here. Yeah. So if you stand up or you sit really, really tall, your, mon your eyes should be halfway up your monitor. Okay. Most people are on a laptop. Yeah. So they're looking down. Yeah. Same with phones. Yeah. My kids, they're like yes. this. And I go, just hold your phone up. Yeah. And if you support your elbows, these muscles don't get tight either. Yeah. So absolutely. Now, anytime you look down, every inch your head goes forward adds 10 pounds of weight to your neck muscles, neck and oh shoulder muscles. Gosh. So when you're down like six yeah. inches, yeah. you're adding 60 pounds Jeez. of weight to your neck muscles and shoulders. And then you stay in that position long term. Yeah. You're developing neurologic patterns and habits yeah. that will lead to arthritis and degeneration down the road. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What? I know you do a lot as far as um, educating as much as you can, right? You have a podcast. We do. Yes. And so how has that process been for you uh, to do that? Yeah. So, so it's Brandy and I. The yeah. podcast is called Real Health with Brandy and Amir. Yeah. And uh, being a practitioner, all the doctors here, we need to stay up to date on all the latest information. So we usually read articles anyway. So we thought, Brandy and I thought, listen, we're already reading these articles. We're already discussing them. Let's just turn on the camera and record ourselves yeah. discussing them. Yeah. So all we do is every week we take what's in the news, mainstream media, um, whatever latest discovery is in healthcare, new drug, new advancements, new detection techniques, we talk about that. We read the article, we tell you what it means, we say what the wellness perspective of that would be. Yeah. The purpose of the podcast is to help people feel better, get stronger, live longer, and mm. feel younger. Yeah. So if you had to give people just kind of three things, if they only had to do three things or could only do three things, what would you say is so vital to having a healthier life if you so, pick so, three things? You know, everyone knows the main three, yeah. which is uh, eat, exercise, exercise, and sleep, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? That's, yeah. that's the main part of it. Yeah. So, so I won't give you the same thing you've already heard and everybody already knows already. What I want to give you is philosophy of wellness. Mm. The word wellness has never been defined. Mm. But the true definition of wellness is the, how much health and vitality you experience in the different dimensions of life. So wellness is not a destination, it's a direction. Right. right? You either move toward wellness or away from it, which is toward illness. How do you move toward wellness? The three things are, look at everything in these three dimensions. The three dimensions are physical, biochemical, and psycho-emotional. Mm. And if you approach everything in that, that frame of mind, yeah. you will move toward wellness. So physical dimension, yes, exercise is part of it, yeah. but so is how you're sitting, yeah. how you're acting, how you're behaving, and rest. Yeah. So you need to balance the exercise with rest. Some people exercise plenty, but they don't rest enough. Some people rest too much, don't exercise. Right. It has to be balanced. Yeah. The second dimension being biochemical, most people understand you should eat good food. But the other side of the coin is remove toxins. Mm. So you need to make sure there aren't toxins in your environment. Yeah. And the last one, psycho-emotional, is when are you watching the news? Because there's some negativity in the news. And I'm not going to tell you not to watch the news. I watch the news. Yeah. But you know what? Watch it in the morning. Yeah. Because when you first wake up, your cortisol levels are high anyways. You get stressed. You get worried. That's fine. In the evening, you don't watch the news. That's when you watch a feel-good movie. Right. Hallmark. Oh, watch yeah. Hallmark. <laughs> Hallmark channel. <laughs> watch for this everybody. podcast right here. This <laughs> is the right. best. This, this is even better than Hallmark. You learn something I love too, it. I love and it. you feel good. Yeah. You know. So so um, psycho-emotional means your emotions have to be correct. Yeah thinking good thoughts, but also removing negativity as well. Yeah. You, we can't live without negativity. It has to be there. You acknowledge it, you process it properly. Okay, so what are like the, for a to go to a chiropractor, when should somebody see a chiropractor? Good question. Um, depends on your goals. Okay. Our style of chiropractic is based on this one premise, that the human body is self-healing, self-regulating. That means the body was designed to produce an enzyme if it needs it, a hormone, it gets mm. produced also. Mm -hmm. You need more skin cells, you produce that. Your skin only lives 30 days. Your bones only live 90 days. Your mm -hmm. red blood cells only live four months. Yeah. Your liver is only alive 24 days. Everything in your body is constantly repairing and regenerating. Yeah. But there's one thing that doesn't repair and regenerate, one thing that controls everything else, that's your brain. And the only way the brain communicates with the rest of your body is through the spinal cord and the nerves that come out. So. When you come to us, our style of chiropractic is 
let's balance the nervous system and make sure everything's functioning properly, cooperating with each other so your organs are talking to each other and talking to your brain properly. Mm. We remove interference to make your whole body overall healthier. If that's the case, it's the same as going to a dentist. You might say, when's the best time to go oh, to a dentist? Okay. You go, well, if you have teeth, you should go, <laughs> yeah, right? Fair enough, and, yeah, and, yeah. And even though we live close to Washington, D.C., eh. there actually are no spineless people. <laughs> <laughs> Except maybe on the chicken farm right, where they have right. boneless chicken. Yes. Uh, other than yeah. that, everybody has a spine. If you okay. have a spine and you haven't had it checked, you may be behind the eight ball. Okay. You really should have it checked. You know, we get our teeth uh, cleaned every six mm -hmm. months, sometimes more often. We brush twice a day. Right. We floss hopefully once a day. Yes. And we get dental x-rays every two years. Yeah. Well, why is your spine any different? Right, we yeah, do the no. same thing. So our patients, because of those four things I mentioned earlier, feel better, get stronger, live longer, and feel younger. If you wanna do those four things, you should come in. Okay. Right. If you wanna feel better, definitely come in. If you wanna get stronger, when I say stronger, I'm not talking about being able to pick up more yeah. weight, yeah. but it's about being able to handle stress. Yeah. The more stress you can handle, the healthier you are. Mm. In fact, your level of health is directly determined by how much stress you can safely handle. Yeah. And I wrote two books on this. Yeah. Very concept of stress. And so uh, you want to get stronger? You should come in. You want to live longer? You should come in. Mm. You want to feel younger? You should come yeah. in. So it depends on where you are on that spectrum. Yeah. Now, I know chiropractic is sometimes, like you were saying earlier, not accepted on some insurance. Why is that? Uh, good question. As far as I know, 90% uh, of insurances do cover oh, it, including okay. the federal government when it comes Even, to... Even like preventative? So if I just... No, want, no. that's the only right, problem. Right. right. Okay, so right. they so won't cover the injury. preventative. Right. If you're injured, right. insurance will cover it. Right. Uh, if you're healthy, quote unquote, <laughs> meaning if you feel good yeah. and you look good, they're not going to pay for <laughs> right. it. That's, that's you know, those preventative yeah. measures, uh, yeah. that's out of pocket. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately. No, that, you know, that's you know, the way and it is. I, I, I have a theory on that. And mm. this theory is very controversial. Can we get controversial on sure, your podcast? Sure, absolutely. Okay, well forgive me, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> gonna get, I'm gonna get canceled for this, but it's okay. You know, um, I, I saw, um, I, we were on the podcast, we were reporting on an article about longevity. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Italy, the government is worried that people are living too long mm. because it takes mm. too many resources yes. and population's getting bigger. That's socialized well, medicine the, for you. I well, lived in it yeah. in Australia. So, yeah, they don't so, wanna pay. So my thought process mm. is the reason insurance and Medicare and all these people don't cover preventative care mm. and uh, um, even like early care is because they don't want us to live too long because then we'll, the population will get too big yeah. and there'll be too much to Using take Using the of. resources. There's, the resources aren't there. I would 100% agree with you on that actually. I, I, I don't think it's that controversial <laughs> if you really think about it. Right. But yeah, it's the same thing. You wanted people to know one thing about Mid-Atlantic Chiropractic. What would it be? Oh, that's really good. You know, we're a family. Mm. We are a family. We're trying to build a community of healthy people mm. who help each other. Yeah. Uh, we, we want you to live a long yeah. life. But, you know, it's not about how long you live. It's how well you well, live, yes. right? Yes. I, I, I define age as the number of years you have remaining, mm. not how many years you've lived, mm. because it's so variable. Yeah. You know, you, you'll, you'll see a 30-year-old who is actually older than a 50-year-old yeah. in our society. And, and so, anyways... Um, the only thing you need to know about Mid-Atlantic is we're a family who cares about you. Oh, that's that's pretty good. I like that. Well, look, if you haven't been, there's two offices. Come in and see Dr. Rashidi and the others. How many practitioners do you we have? We have three doctors. Three doctors here. And um, is Brandy here anymore at all? She is. She, she is? She okay. Is. She She's is. still She's, running she, things from the back? Oh, yeah. Every time she tries to step out, we pull her right <laughs> back in. <laughs> I love it. Well, come by and see them. We'll make sure you have the website, phone numbers, and everything you need on this screen. We appreciate your time today. My pleasure. So I appreciate you. Thank awesome. you. Thanks to everybody.